I genuinely want to know why black men make dating so difficult. They make it. Hi, I have an answer, and it's simply because they don't have money. Oh. So I've been thinking about this a lot as it relates to my personal dating life. Um, a lot of my friends who are black women who are in their late 20s, early 30s, who have been struggling with dating, who prefer to date black men, and have been doing it in comparison to my white peers and some peers outside of like other races but specifically my white peers as to why we all went to similar schools um we all went to similar schools we all have similar educational backgrounds we all work similar jobs um for bar for bar we would say we would live very similar lives except i just oscillate in primarily black spaces and they oscillate in primarily white spaces um with that said, I think it's because white people, but specifically white also men, are raised in the way that they have generational wealth, but a generational wealth mindset, meaning that they saw their parents get paired off and married, you know, within their 20s. They have grandma's ring and heirlooms. They have a house that they know that they will inherit. They have a mindset knowing that even if they... Um, even if they lose their job at Goldman Sachs or in tech or whatever, that they have this sort of privilege that they know that they'll always be fine and they know that they'll always be able to take care of their family. So even though they're in build mode, they're not necessarily worried that they would lose everything. And I think that mindset is different for black men, meaning that they spend a lot of their 20s and even in their early 30s really trying to play a game of like financial catch up, really trying to get themselves established. And because they're playing that game, they play games in other areas, meaning that they don't necessarily take things seriously in terms of getting married, having kids, buying a home, starting family, um, because those things require money. And if you don't have it, you're not, they're not necessarily going to, um, I guess, just take those things seriously. And again, I was just really thinking as to like why I'm in my late 20s. A lot of my friends are in our late 20s, early 30s, and we're still like dating and on dating apps and dealing with games and all the shenanigans that come with dating black men. But then when I look at the Jennies, the Tiffany's and the whatever's of the world, a lot of them who I have worked with or work with, why they all ironically enough got engaged all at 27, 28, um, around the same time, and it's felt kind of like sorority-like, very systematic. Um, and again, it's that peer influence around them. If they see all their friends doing the things, and this goes for men too, they're going to go do those things as well. Or if they saw their parents do it, they're going to go do it as well. And I don't think black men saw it um, from their fathers. Um, and they also didn't necessarily and don't necessarily see it from their peers around them. So they don't also feel kind of that social influence to do those things, especially for black men in major cities like a New York, a LA, a Chicago, um, a Miami, maybe even Houston. Maybe in the South, it might be a bit different. Um, but yeah, um, there's more I can say on this and I've been doing a lot of research. I'm actually going to write an article about it, um, just the differences and nuances between being a black woman dating versus like my white contemporaries and their dating experiences. But yeah, the one factor that it boils down to is money. And if you don't have it, you're not able to um, progress forward in dating. It's not just the money. Like you said yourself, yeah, in your late 20s, are you saying between the age of 22 and uh, 29, if you're 29, you've never met a man that's in their thirties that has already established themselves that he is ready to uh, to have a family. Are you saying you've never met such men? Maybe it could be you in your twenties. You never took relationships seriously if you had somebody, and there's just other reasons to why men are choosing not to marry because of the laws that are set to disadvantage every man that goes into marriage. And at times, these men have worked so hard for what they have and they're not looking forward to sign a piece of paper that will lead to them losing half of what they've worked for. So there are so many reasons here um, at play. It's not just money. Other people have money, but they've decided not to get married.
I genuinely want to know why black men make dating so difficult. They make it more difficult than any other societal group on this planet, I feel like. Of course, there are the outliers, but as a group, as a collective, they're the most hard-headed to deal with when it comes to dating, relationships, commitment, like all that stuff. And I'm just curious as to why. I feel like it could all really be so simple, and I know that because I've seen it be simple with other types of people. But when you're dealing with a black man, they make you go through hoops and loops just to ultimately end up with nothing. Like, I really want to know what happened to black men specifically that caused them to have so much, like anguish about being in a relationship or being committed like I, I really don't see how it's that big of a deal to be committed to somebody they're the main ones to not tell you their true intentions they're the main ones to lead you on they're the main ones to play games and then me being one of the ones who's only attracted to black men it's really tough because there's not much to work with and it's really frustrating it caused them to be so standoffish towards relationships and commitment I, I really want to know i don't know maybe it is time to expand my horizons and see what the other races have to offer because this is just not it get ready with me after my three-year relationship just ended <laughs> i'm gonna try not to cry so i don't ruin my makeup I'm not... sorry about that but it's okay if you cried <laughs> i'm not gonna say why because i don't want people attacking him and he's not a bad person but if i was to tell you guys why then you guys would definitely think he is but i just had enough this time there's just no going back and all i'm gonna say is ladies go with your gut feeling i promise it's never wrong i promise i felt like i was so crazy going with my gut feeling like i was like oh, there's no way because like this is just insane like it's my gut talking to me like what i went with my gut feeling and it ended up being right we were together for like three years off and on. Not off and on, we had one couple month break. We moved into an apartment together and now I have to learn to live alone. Every time I cry, my face gets like really red and like red dots appear. So I'm trying my best not to cry. Just like we planned our whole future together. Like I I really love that. I'm kind of at the point where like I have to like hold on to every reason to just like keep going it happened last night and i think it was the adrenaline i just didn't really cry i was kind of numb and then today i cried all day and i think it's like starting to hit like this is really it three years right down the drain all of his stuff is still here too all his clothes are still hung up all his hats are in the closet all his shower stuff all his shoes like everything and i think like Going to give that to him is going to be like the hardest part. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Okay, I can't cry anymore because every time I do it leaves like a tear streak. Guys, Haley's here so I'm all better.